right, time now for Fansville Advantage, presented by Dr. Pepper. For this, we look ahead to next week, one of the most anticipated matchups of the year. For the first time since 2011, Texas and Texas A&M, they're renewing their bitter rivalry as the Longhorns will make the two-hour drive to College Station. How lit is it going to be in College Station? It's going to be unbelievable. So I know a lot of guys that went to the University of Texas, and we can sit there and have normal conversations, and they will bring up, yeah, you know, the real Texas team. We don't have to add letters to our name, talking uh -huh. about Texas A&M. So it, it, it's going to be bitter. I know Mike Evans, I know he's looking forward to that oh, matchup yeah. right yeah, now yeah. as well, too. So this is going to be one for the ages, and I'm glad that the SEC is now on ESPN, and we get a front row seat to be able to win. Okay, so there's a lot on the line in that matchup, not only in the CFP, but also in the SEC. Now, Mike Elko, obviously looking ahead to that matchup. However, they do have Auburn this week. Just listen to what Mike, El Mike Elko said about this matchup. Uh-oh. I think our focus is, is single-handedly on Texas, I mean, on Auburn right now and, and locked in on what we got to get done. I mean, he's already looking ahead. <laughs> Y'all got a game. <laughs> he said, oops. Uh, but obviously, there's a lot of the line in that matchup. How does he stay focused? How does his team stay focused on the task at hand this week? Well, I would say if anybody watched Auburn play this season, I don't think Texas A&M is worried about Auburn. <laughs> I think they're going to handle their business today, and then we're going to be ready for the showdown at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on ABC next week for a bittersweet rivalry. Yeah, it's going to be a really good one. But let's talk about this Texas team. Sorry, the jib just scared the crap out of me. I thought it was a bird or something. Um, are they – Texas, we've seen them in person, Texas specifically. This is obviously a huge matchup. Do you feel like Texas is overranked? Are we talking about them a little bit too much? Or are they getting overvalued? Well, I think a lot of people look at their schedule. Texas right now, they don't have a ranked win on their, on their schedule. And I think that bothers a lot of people. But when you look at Indiana, they don't either. Penn State just squeaked by, right, with Illinois because they are in the top 25 now. But, you know, Penn State only has one ranked win versus an opponent. So I think Texas is ranked where they should be ranked. They were the number one team in the country at, at one point before they got smashed by the University of Georgia. But when you look at what they have collectively across the board, they have the skill position players, they have the offensive line, they have the running backs, they have the wide receivers, they have the quarterbacks with an S on the end of yeah, that. Yeah, true. But they also have the defensive personnel to be dominant too. It's so funny uh, hearing Heather Dinich every single week explain to people what a quality loss is. Because yeah. you have quality wins, but Texas has some good quality losses as well. Now, obviously, that only game. only have one, though. I was going to say, Versus that Georgia. game against Georgia, Ugh. it looked they looked rough. You mentioned their quarterbacks, plural, but it did look rough. However, this Texas team still is a formidable team and does, I think, have the what they need to actually compete at the CFP level, right? Well, when they play to the standard of Texas football, uh, they can hang with anybody in the country. And I'm really looking forward, if they get to the SEC championship game, who's going to be the opposing po opponent? Is yeah. it going to be Alabama? Is it going to be Georgia for Texas versus Georgia round two? So really looking forward to that.